Can you still do video editing on a 2011 iMac in 2020? Let's get into it. How's it going everyone? I hope everyone's staying safe in this crazy times. Um, again, I'm, we're kind of moving into our house, but I'm over at my wife's mother's house, so I'm kind of making the best of the filming. I actually picked up a 2000, well I didn't pick it up, I actually brought it with me, but a, a 2011 iMac, 21.5 uh, inch, I'll show you here in a second. And uh, basically I have it with me and uh, all my other systems are over at my house that I'm moving into. But we're kind of locked down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just show a quick video and see if you can still do video editing on a 2011 iMac. I'm going to use some basic stuff and just do kind of a basic, you know, representation of a video edit. Show you how long it takes to compile it and things like that and just 1080p. But if you're interested in doing basic video editing right now and you're looking for a system, I mean, you can pick up a 2011 system. Mine's a, this one's a 21.5 21 inch 2011 system, 8 gigs of RAM, i5. You can pick up one of these for like 280 bucks, somewhere in that range. Um, I've even seen the 27 inch, which I have one of those. I have a 2011 27 inch as well. Those are, I just don't have it with me, but those are generally about 300, 350 right now. So they're cheap, but can you still do basic video editing if you want to start a YouTube channel or something like that? And uh, I'm going to show you because you can definitely use them. The only problem is, is it's going to be just high Sierra that I'm actually running. There's some ways to kind of get some newer OS's on there, which we'll maybe do a video on light later. So kind of in this video, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of break down. I'm going to show you a quick video uh, of me making a video on a 2011 iMac 21 inch, 8 gigs of RAM i5 again, showing you how long it takes to render and just, you know, some various things like that. Just want to show people, can you do it? You know, when you scroll, when you scrub through a video, is it pretty smooth? One thing I did differently though, I want to make a caveat, and the one thing I did completely different with this one is I have a bunch of videos on it, is I actually am booting off of an external SSD drive, which is, um, there's a certain way to do it with 2011 systems. You actually have to get a specific Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 1 enclosure, which is actually going to run the SSD, so you have enough speed to run the SSD. But I'm also running that in this system. I'll actually show the, uh, the drive here, but it's actually a Lacey drive, and it's got a Thunderbolt 1 connection, which is, I think, 10 gigabits per second connected to the SSD and then I actually boot the OS off of that. So instead of taking the whole thing apart, the inside of this thing has a spinning drive. I just use that external drive there. Quickly, here is a speed test for the drive. Boot my OS off of that and that's kind of the one kind of, I guess you'd call, um, advantage that I'm having running, you know, doing video editing on this system. So just want to make that clear that you have to do that. I have a bunch of videos on how to do that. You can check out my past videos. I think I made three or four of them, um, especially in 2011. So go ahead and check that out. But that's basically it. So this video is going to be quick. I'm going to show people how to do all that stuff. And uh, if you're interested in getting a 2011 for like 250 bucks, you know, is it worth it? Can you do basic video editing? Yeah, I would say probably better than most, but let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty, so due to the miracles of uh, video editing, I'm going to actually be doing this video that I'm doing right now, showing you guys. It's not going to be fully completed, obviously, because I have to put the part in that I'm filming right now in here. But anyways, just I'm using iMovie, um, and a lot of people are going to say, why not Final Cut Pro? Well, again, I'm not a super power user, but I just want to show you this is a 2011 i5, just with the... 8 gigs of RAM. So let's get into this one. I mean, I have a couple transitions. As you can see, I have uh, various video clips and I have uh, some music in here and some voiceovers. So nothing too extraneous, but if you want to make a YouTube channel, it's about all you need right now. So if I go down to the timeline down here and you can see the scrubbing here, let me go go to a longer video. So the, the program runs really quickly. There's not a lot of delay in just opening things up or you know going through various buttons. I'll show you that in a second. But if I'm just scrubbing through the video, take a look at this. This is just 1080p, um, but if you're filming at 1080p, 30 or 60, 30 is going to be a little bit smoother. But look at this. I mean, it's perfectly scrubbing. I can even click on the arrows and go one frame at a time, as you can see here. So not a lot of um, you know issues with that with the scrubbing. I mean, again, I can go watch how I transition through all this stuff really quickly. There's no stuttering, nothing. So it's able to handle 1080p just fine. I have, you know, some, you would call them transition text and various things popping in, but nothing too extravagant. But you can see just by moving this, I get, you know, frame by frame animations here, uh, or scrubbing, I guess. I have some noise down here as well as, as far as music put in over my voiceovers. And uh, 
the video here is just it's just four minutes and 33 seconds I'm gonna complete this this is gonna be a longer video when I'm done but you can see you know clicking on anything up here as far as just flying through all this stuff it's very very quick I can put in transitions grab my media throw it into my timeline nothing is stagnant nothing you know takes a long time to load very very responsive and I only have eight gigs of RAM this system's over geez nine what is it nine years old now so going on 10 years so it's a really really old system but look at this no problem whatsoever so the question is this can definitely do it now how long does it take to render this again this clip is only I just opened something I shouldn't have <laughs> how long does this take to render um, right over here it looks like it's what four four minutes and 33 seconds is that this clip here so how long would it take to render this I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video because I don't want anything kind of working in the background but I'm gonna go ahead and render this and what the way I'm gonna do it is when I click on this I'm gonna make sure that it's um 1080p quality is high and then I'm gonna make sure the compression is better quality so that's my settings I'm gonna be using and then I'll go ahead and put a you know I'll, I'll time this uh, once I stop this I'll time it and then let everyone know how long it takes to go ahead and render so the render completed and again the video itself was let's see here four minutes and 33 seconds let's go into here let's go ahead and take a look here's the test it actually rendered it fully rendered it's a 689 megabytes the time it took to render was only three minutes and 57 seconds so it actually rendered a four you know minute and 33 second clip 1080p 30 and only three minutes and 57 seconds so it's actually faster than the clip so that's not too bad for a 2011 system it takes less time than the actual clip length again this is a very basic video but it does give you a good idea if it can be done and how well you know for the money for 250 bucks maybe 350 for the 27 inch it's not bad is it so it does go ahead and it, it you know I'm stuck I put it under my shoulder grabbed it ran over you know I'm kind of in quarantine right now had to bring this with me it's an older system so I wasn't afraid of breaking it or anything like that you know it's small 21.5 inch you can put it in your car just take it with you and it's doing what I need it to do right now it's not going to be the best videos as you can tell I'm not that's not my goal of my channel is just to make the best quality content I guess it's just really as far as how it looks visually I just try to make more things to help people and, and you know more informational so eventually I'm gonna to try to get there I have a new studio going into my new house one day if we ever get moved in um, but in the meantime right now this is all I got right now so I'm doing my best with it um, and I hope everyone out there is staying safe too good luck with everyone in this kind of world crisis going on and uh, definitely help me out if you can subscribe to my channel do videos on all technology a lot of Apple stuff obviously Mac stuff um, PC stuff and then also travel and finance which I'm not really touching right right now too volatile for me um, beyond that I'll talk to you guys maybe in a week or a couple days see you soon bye